Hello, Alan Steady with the Managed Services team over here at Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how you can take backups on your WatchGuard Firebox. So when we're talking about backups as it relates to our WatchGuard Firebox, there's actually a couple of different methods that we can use. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump into the user interface of the Firebox and take a look. So down here under System, um, you'll see that we have a couple of options. There's this configuration file where we can download a file of our current running configuration and we can import that into Policy Manager. Um, we can also use that file to restore our an existing configuration. So if you're using Policy Manager and you're unable to establish a connection directly to the Firebox, you can actually import this file into Policy Manager. And to download the file, it's incredibly simple. Just go ahead and click this hyperlink here to download it. And this is going to download a compressed version of the configuration file. So you'll need to utilize some kind of a decompression software such as WinZip or 7-Zip to extract the actual configuration file that you would then upload into Policy Manager. So usually before we start making configuration changes, uh, it's always a good idea to just go ahead and grab a, a quick system snapshot. Um, just in case if we mess something up, we can always revert back to an existing configuration. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our backup and restore image option where we can see that we have a couple of different tabs here. We have a Firebox as well as a USB option or these two different tabs. Um, this is ultimately where the backup image is going to be stored. Um, so what you can do is take an external USB drive and actually hook that up to your WatchGuard Firebox and you can take backups to that, which can be helpful in the event that our Firebox goes south on us. Um, if it crashes for whatever reason, we're not just locally storing our backups, which would then be useless in that case. So we wanna make sure that when we're managing our backups that we're taking them routinely and storing them outside of the actual appliance itself. Um, we'll go ahead and select this create backup image, which is gonna take a backup. And what we can see is that it, it creates the, a backup image locally, um, which is actually stored on the hard drive of the WatchGuard Firebox. Uh, we can see a little bit of information about the, the size of our backup and then the available storage. So this is how much data we can store on the Firebox. So once we take the backup, we can actually select this tick box here and we'll scroll on down and we can export our backup. Uh, so when we export the backup, it's going to give us a, a file path or it's going to allow us to save it locally to our machine. Uh, we'll want to enter in a nice strong password. Um, this is going to encrypt our backup, so in case uh, it ends up in some bad actor's hands, um, if we have a disgruntled employee, uh, we don't want somebody kind of running off or with our you know, current running backup um, that they could then just import into their Firebox or Policy Manager and be able to glean some information about our internal infrastructure or, or network architecture, which can also pose a security concern, especially if we have any kind of VPN connections where the remote gateway might be set to listen to for, for any gateway. We'll select Save. And we can see that it's downloaded the backup to our local system, which then we can move and place those wherever we would like. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, give us the thumbs up below. And be sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you're notified of future video releases. And come and check us out at firewalls.com. It's www.firewalls.com. Thank you for watching.